Welcome to Ask Dr. Quip, brought to you by Quip Laboratories. The question of the day is, which is the superior whole room disinfection? Today we'll compare UV disinfection versus dry fog hydrogen peroxide and try to pinpoint the pros and cons of both. While hydrogen peroxide vapor treatments boast a 6 log production according to the EPA, UV light isn't a chemical disinfectant, and therefore it isn't under the EPA's jurisdiction. This means that often UV disinfection methods rely on private third-party testing to determine efficacy, and these third parties are often working directly for the companies producing the systems. But what about in real-world tests? Well, dry fog hydrogen peroxide technologies still manage to have better real-world results with greater demonstrated efficacy. See, UV efficacy can dip because of obstruction, something in between the light and the intended surface, or dimming, the UV bulb not operating at full capacity. Both obstruction of the light and dimming from an ineffective bulb can result in a system less likely to achieve a whole room disinfection, which can create hiding places to shelter bacteria, which later spread. So that's one point to dry fogged hydrogen peroxide. It's because of the issue that UV validation has had over the years that the EPA has stated no validation exists beyond two log kills, and the CDC doesn't recommend UV disinfection in their guidelines for biosafety cabinet disinfection. Meanwhile, bogged hydrogen peroxide has been approved by the EPA for a six log kill, or 99.9999% reduction, and the CDC has said that hydrogen peroxide vapor decontamination has been found to be a highly effective method of eradicating MRSA, Clostridium botulinum, and Clostridium difficile. This point clearly goes to dry fog hydrogen peroxide. One thing UV systems have always held over vapor systems is their simplicity and ease of use. After all, there's nothing easier than flipping on a light switch, and that's true. On the flip side, Vaporized hydrogen peroxide means that rooms will have to be sealed until the vapor dissipates. This can take time and can mean room turnover time for facilities like hospitals is greater, not exactly ideal for many organizations. While built-in fogging portals like the Halo portal are making fogging multiple rooms in succession easier, there's never going to be anything quite as easy as turning on the light. This point goes to UV. It used to be that UV systems were much cheaper than big installed vaporized systems. However, those days have changed. While UV systems can often cost upwards of $50,000 to fully install, a dry fog hydrogen peroxide system can cost a fraction of that. Looks like dry fog hydrogen peroxide takes this round as well. Our total, three to one. But even if it seems close, it's important to remember that this definitely comes down to efficacy. After all, you can have an easy to implement system that's cost effective, but if it doesn't actually have the disinfecting efficacy, then what's the point? Well, that's it for this episode of Ask Dr. Quip, brought to you by Quip Laboratories. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. And remember, Quip Labs makes it safe, simply and sensibly.